Hello, I'm Luke Popovich, a spokesman for the National Mining Association. You may have heard about far-reaching regulation on existing power plants that will increase electricity prices for consumers and businesses. A new report now documents the impact of yet another costly and unnecessary regulation called the Stream Protection Rule. Once again, a regulation that will drive up energy costs and unemployment, yet offer zero environmental benefits. And once again, you and other consumers and businesses are going to pay dearly for it. Here's some background on this rule. In January 2011, President Obama issued an executive order aimed at improving federal regulation and review. Under that order, the President directed federal agencies to base their regulatory decisions on the best available science. He ordered them to encourage public participation in decision making. He directed them to create regulations that promote economic growth and create jobs and use the least burdensome tools to achieve regulatory goals. Apparently, some regulators in his administration haven't read this order. Right now, the Office of Surface Mining, also called OSM, is planning to single-handedly change more than 475 regulations and add new rules on top of that. The agency wants to increase the oversight of U.S. surface and underground mining and reclamation of mine lands. The agency is making those changes without an open exchange of ideas, without considering economic impacts, and without offering a scientific rationale for why the new regulations are necessary. OSM says its proposed changes are based on new science, but it won't reveal what that science is. It says new regulations are needed to protect streams from mining operations. But the agency's own reports show that 90% of all mining operations are free of any offsite impacts. In many states, 100% of operations are free of such impacts to streams. Maybe that's why most of the proposal is dedicated not to protecting streams, as its title would suggest, but to co-opting the missions and programs of federal and state agencies under other laws that already apply to coal mining. Maybe that's also why OSM decided to shut cooperating states out of discussions about the purpose and content of this regulation. As a result, most state agencies have terminated their role in this rulemaking. Now, as a consumer, you must wonder, does this regulation really affect me? Well, the answer is yes. The economic impact will be steep and impact all of us. An analysis by an independent consultant last month found that OSM's rule would put more than 268,000 mining and dependent jobs at risk. OSM would also jeopardize access to as much as 63% of the nation's recoverable coal reserves. When that much affordable energy is locked in the ground, electricity costs are bound to go up for families. And when miners can't mine, there is less money for communities. In this case, at least $5 billion in federal and state revenues would be lost. Surprisingly, for all this pain, there is no environmental gain. The office's own reviews show that mining companies are overwhelmingly in compliance with current standards. In fact, the agency admitted it had already decided to issue this rule five years before it conducted the study to determine the need for it. The only gains would be for OSM, a bigger budget and a bigger mission, for an agency that doesn't need either one. President Obama called for responsible regulation. Is anyone in his administration listening? Unless they do, you, the consumers, will pay the price for it. Thank you.